I've been a little bit uh, worried about messing with this knee and the table, but I decided to go ahead and take it apart and see if I can get that cleaned up. This is definitely one of the pieces that kind of intimidate me. One thing I like to do is give credit where credit is due, and I forgot to do that last time. I had mentioned Ghosties or G-Hosties, but also who I've watched with this type of mill is the Tinkers Workshop and also Thunderdog. I've watched all their videos on the taking apart and the restoration of their Atlas Horizontal Mill. So, and I also caught Illinois Gopher for making stuff for the mill. And guys, I don't mean to leave anybody out. It's just I'm old and sometimes that happens. When you walk out those doors, are you still going to be stomping on his head? Or are you going to be thinking about doing wrong? Now that's where you do. He don't care if you come in. Now there's a, a much better way of taking this apart and those other guys show that. But... I have to kind of do things in a way that I'll remember it and know how it goes back together. And so that's why I'm kind of taking it apart the way I am. I'm trying to keep track of the gibs, the gib screws, and the shims on where they go. Now I'm trying to make sure that everything I take off from each little sub-assembly stays in the same bags with the same screws so I have an idea on how to get this thing back together correctly. And once again back to the purple power and the brushes. Now right here I'm taking off a little piece of, it looks like felt, looks like kind of a wiper. So I've got to see if I can either make that or find some new, some of that stuff. Well, just in case I haven't mentioned it before, this thing is filthy, absolutely filthy.
Now this bed is so stuffed with chips, I just decide to use a vacuum to get the chips out of it. Now here I'm going to try some stuff called Barkeeper's Friend and uh, see if that makes the metal shiny. And uh, by, the what, by the way, it does, but you've got to get some uh, rust inhibitor on there or it will rust up on you. Look how quickly that rusted. I mean, it rusted while it, was, while it was still in the sink. Holy cow. So we get this dried up, throw a little WD on there and uh, scotch bright it. Get that flash rust off of there. My word. That's shocking how quickly that happens. And this is another piece yet that I'm intimidated with on how to get those shafts out of there, but I, I figured it out. Now, a lot of the shafts on these older machines have other people that have tried to get them out by hammering them, and it mushrooms the ends out, but Fortunately for this one, it's not, and I was able to get it right out. I have full intentions on painting this thing. However, when I get it all cleaned up, the paint's actually in fairly decent shape, but I have to paint it anyway. Now remember what I told you about shafts being mushroomed and how the other ones weren't? Well, this one's not so uh, lucky. This one's been mushroomed and I don't know how I'm going to get it out. But later on, I figure out I can uh, get it out with a little bit of a, a press. Alright guys, the cleanup part is a messy part. But this right here with the paint removals, even messier. But I saw some people use this citrus strip. And when I've ever used it before, it dried right out. But I saw people take and uh, put plastic over it. So I use these dry cleaning bags. 
and uh, put the citrus strip on and uh, take the bag and kind of cover it up so it stays moist and it's pretty effective. After letting the citrus drip sit all night, I kind of scrape some of the paint off and then I take a wire brush and some water and clean it in the utility sink. Well, I should have known just by the sheer weight of it, but it wasn't until I got the paint off this cover that I realized it's aluminum. Some of these parts sat, you know, just overnight, and some of them sat for a couple days with the citrus strip on it, and now each one of them has to get cleaned off. And once again, what a messy, messy job. The voice of the person speaking and make it sound like... At this point, I hadn't figured out how to take that cover door off, that door cover off of there. But later on, I figured it out and took that uh, little door off. On a couple of these parts it sat for a while, the wire brush I use with either WD-40 or uh, Mineral Spirits, the WD-40 seemed to work a little better. And now I want to make sure that it's uh, the painted areas are really free from everything and also the wire brush kind of really makes the unpainted surfaces, it cleans those up and polishes them up very nicely. So I can see that inner bearing race is not sitting correctly and I decide to take it out and um, so I try to tap on it real gingerly and see if it'll pop out. And since it didn't, I decide I'm going to clean behind it with a, a wire, a couple of wire brushes, get that cleaned out, and just try to get it seated again. When I get stuck on something, I usually move to something else, and so I move to trying to get this pen out. And so I um, go to the press, and I have a couple of little things and lo and behold, I was able to use a couple of uh, different things and get that pen pressed out. Had to take it back over to the press. Got that baby out. Well, this is a casualty of when I tried to get those two overarm clamps out. And so I decided to JB weld it back in. It's not a, a load-bearing part, but I want to get it in there to um, to make it look right. Well, I got some aluminum wedged up in there. 
just so it doesn't squish that when I'm pressing it. And you can see that bearing is sitting a little high. I'm going to press that uh, down in there before we get everything painted. So I just took a piece of my uh, pop can aluminum and uh, turned it down to fit that. Now we're going to see if we can press it down. I didn't like the way that was seating, so I actually made up another piece of aluminum, went from the inside and pushed them back out. And I'm glad I did because there's a lot of, uh, you know, debris and chips and stuff under there that I couldn't get to. But now that I got them up like that, I can get that cleaned out so they'll sit down in there nice and flat.